Hey guys, back with another video today, but today it's going to be on Honor of Kings. So it's pretty much like the Chinese version of League of Legends. Uh, they've just released the global version and I've been playing it for I think a week or two and so far I'm loving it. The community is a lot more friendly, not so toxic as League. And yeah, this game I think I will try to play Angela. And that's, I think, one of the recommended heroes to start with. She has a really nice, uh, easy to understand kit. And we have some skins here as well. And you even have some skin trials that you can try out before you want to uh, buy it. Let's just have a look at the skill combos. Angela is a high burst mage who can crowd control her enemies. She can hide in the brush, then use 2 1 ult to deal scary amounts of damage. Her skill 1 lets her unleash multiple small fireballs to deal damage. Her skill 2 lets her hurl a large fireball that stuns and slows enemies. And her ultimate is a powerful jet of flame that also gives her a shield. Level up the ultimate first, followed by skill 1 if the ultimate is not available. And yeah, I really like uh, this game, how simple it is. And they have these presets already made so you don't have to think too hard about what uh, items you want to buy and I really like that for every hero for every champion they have this Welcome little video showing you uh, like what all the skills do what you should prioritize leveling first and her normal basic combo that you should be using that's really nice so the nice thing as well is that we only have uh, two abilities and one ultimate and that's a little bit simpler than League with three abilities and one ultimate. So some people might think, oh, maybe it's like less competitive, it's not so hard. But actually, I, I still feel like it's quite competitive. It doesn't really lose out uh, much. And as you can see here, we're just kind of poking our way uh, against the enemy in mid lane with my first ability. As you can see, it's like those rockets. It just deals damage, kind of uh, homing missiles in a way and the second ability is like a circle crowd control effect where if I hit him I think I stun them and then the circle lasts for a while and deals some uh, damage over time okay and I'm using my ultimate right now and I got first blood and if you look at my ultimate, you can see that the cooldown on it is actually quite low. And that's something that I've noticed in a lot of the heroes here. Uh, the cooldown for the ultimates are really like around 30 seconds or something. So you're really not that punished if you miss uh, an ultimate. So it's kind of encouraged to kind of constantly use your ultimate every time you see an opportunity. And here you can see I got really lucky in escaping because the, the enemy just decided to focus on one of my teammates instead of myself. So I just walked upwards and got the hell out of it. But as you can see, we're doing quite well right now. We are three kills, zero deaths, and our team is doing quite well. Uh, this is just a quick match. So it's a little bit faster than their normal game mode. Uh, and they do that just by uh, how fast you can earn the gold. And you can see I'm using my ult to clear the wave, the minion wave, but that was quite a dumb move because I should have realized that they were still around the river towards bottom lane and that they would keep, they would be coming mid lane. So I just kind of died for nothing there. So that was my bad. But yeah, I've been playing for a week and right now I I am in Master 4. So the rank system is quite similar as well. And we're starting with like silver, uh, like bronze, silver, gold, plat, diamond, masters. And then you have like the top tier, like grandmaster or whatever. And so I'm Master 4. I'm going to try and see if I can hit grandmaster. And yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this new game. Actually, I, I like it. I like it a lot more than League, actually. I stopped playing the normal League, the PC League, 
uh, around six or seven years ago, so it's been a while. But I did play a lot of Wild Rift, uh, just because the games were shorter and it was on the mobile version. And so it was just a bit easier to play. And yeah, as you can see, uh, I did pretty well in surviving there. I really thought I would, I was going to die again. But yeah, with Angela, I think it's a really good uh, beginner hero to start with. Uh, just in learning the basics of a game, especially in learning how to play a mid lane. Uh, when all the minions come, you can see there's normally three minions. Uh, like one melee, one ranged, and one cannon minion. And the best way to clear the minion waves with Angela is we use our skill 2 first, then skill 1, and then ultimate. And that's normally the combo for uh, damaging enemies as well. And you'll see me doing that against most of the enemies. And we've got a team fight here, we're doing pretty well. I missed some skills at the start, but now I followed it up with a triple kill. And yeah, that went really well for me. Now I'm really ahead in gold compared to the rest of the game. Oh, am I going to get him? Oh, I'm missing a lot of skills. Okay, I managed just to tag him at the end. So I just got four kills there. And one thing uh, also to notice, it's really nice because you can buy items while you're still, uh, while you're anywhere in the map. So you don't have to recall back to base to buy items. And I really like that because it means if you get a kill, uh, you can really kind of push your power spike uh, and your gold advantage a bit forwards uh, just by staying in the lane and just keep bullying the opponent. So it's really nice. Um, and wow, I just got another triple kill. So this is going really well for me for this game. And you will notice a lot of the heroes, they all have some of these uh, some of these abilities all have similar skills to the league alternatives. Okay, it looks like I am gonna die here. I think I just overstayed my welcome there. I knew that the enemies were respawning soon, and that they were gonna chase me down, and I should have just left a bit earlier. But as you can see, I am now 11-2. I have the most gold in the game at around 12k gold, 12,000. And I am pretty much full build already. And yeah, you can see like that Rabadon's death cap. Well, uh, that's what they call it in League. Uh, it's pretty much got the same photo, the same, a similar image. So if you're coming from League, uh, a lot of the items and abilities do look really familiar, so it's not such a steep learning curve. And yeah, I think this Angela ult, this laser beam, it's pretty similar to, I think, a Velkos ult. Unless it's been reworked, I'm not sure. I haven't played League in a very long time, so I could be totally wrong. But yeah. Okay, so we're just kind of poking people out right now, just trying to get a feel of everything. And one of our teammates died. Okay, they're gonna tower dive me. That's a mistake on their part, because every time I use that sh uh, ultimate, I also get a shield. And I get crowd control immunity as well. And okay, now we're kind of chasing them down. And okay, that I did not get that kill since he got crowd control immunity as well, so I could not stun him and finish him off. But since we've killed three of the team members, we can kind of push uh, the inner tower. We easily get that, and we're probably gonna look at trying to end this game. And yes, we've got another kill. Okay, we're gonna get targeted. Okay, they completely focused on someone else. That's really amazing for us. Can we get the kill? Oh my god. Okay, that was really close. We almost got uh, 
our second skill back off cooldown again and we could have uh, killed Wukong but he managed to get a quadra kill so that is okay that is what it is what it is I think we're still in a really good position we've got 22 uh, 23 kills against their 12 so we have a big gold advantage and yeah this game is really similar to League you know it's got all the jungle monsters and stuff it's got the same roles and you have Baron and Dragon uh, the Baron and Dragon in this game they do slightly different things I think they change one of them they change your minions into like just straight up dragons that just do more damage and a, a, a lot more tanky stuff like that um, and yeah actually one thing which is quite interesting is that the support in this game normally goes into mid lane uh, at the start of the game and in league with the support normally always stays with the AD carry but I've noticed that it's really quite flexible where the support goes uh, they call it the roaming role and it really fits the name because like you normally see the support everywhere so it's nice that it's not so strict and oh my god we have a team fight here okay I managed to kill one person two people actually but that kill at the end was not bad but we just got aced so that was not so nice we've kind of lost two fights in a row when we were so close to finishing uh, finishing the game so I think we really do need to stick together uh, towards the end of the game and try to pick someone off and then that way we can just win the game a lot easier we kind of need to avoid being picked off first all these big fights where our damage dealers are getting kind of uh, locked down by CC's or whatever But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Uh, I think I played maybe around 50 or so games, and I am yeah around masters. And so I've always been ranked pretty high in league. I think I I hit masters back when I played. Oh, we've got a nice ultimate off. Are we gonna be able to kill him? Yes. Okay, so we picked off three people there. We're gonna pick off this fourth, and that's definitely gonna be game. You can see the respawn timers at the top left. They have 50 seconds until they respawn. So there's no chance that they're gonna be able to defend all four of us with that minion. And yeah, we're absolutely belting the Nexus. And there we go. So that's game one. And we will do another game after this nice promotion and yeah the promotion is going to be with app gallery from huawei and let's talk a little bit more about app gallery so with app gallery app gallery is pretty much like an alternative app store or play store uh, this is only for android and what are the benefits of using app gallery well with App Gallery, you can download an app where uh, it'll come up with an overlay uh, right before you make any purchase and you can pretty much get cash back from all your purchases, including a lot of coupons that they give out. So one of the first offers that you can get is a free 99 cent uh, euro coupon. So a free one euro coupon and there is literally no catch. So you just have to spend more than 0.01 euros. So you spend more than one cent and you get it. So you can get this offer just by going to this link, bit.ly slash hoc w e u. Yeah, so go to that link and then you'll be able to claim your one euro coupon. And then in addition, you get 20% 
cashback in every single purchase that you make in honor of kings. Let me repeat that. 20% cashback. That's a huge amount that you can save if you normally spend a lot in games. And let me let me tell you, in honor of kings, they have some amazing looking skins and the price of their skins are actually quite a lot cheaper and more moderate compared to League, in my opinion. They look a lot nicer as well. And I just think it's a lot, I don't know, it's just, it just feels better and it feels like it has more value. So I am more encouraged to purchase a skin or two. But yeah, if I did want to purchase a skin, let's say I want to spend 10 euros on uh, buying some skins or whatever, then I can get 20% back. So then by spending 10 euros, I get an extra two euros back and that is through the app gallery uh, overlay thing, which I will tell you more about how we can do that. So the first thing to do is we want to download the app gallery app on our Android. So on our Android, we go to appgallery.huawei.com and we get to see this uh, website here. The, and on the top left here, if you're doing it on your Android phone, you will see a download button. You simply download it, or you can scan this QR code here if you are using a laptop or Mac. After you've downloaded App Gallery, you just make sure to sign up, create an account, and then download something called HMS Core. That's gonna be the thing that uh, allows you to have these overlays show up with the app gallery, and then you can use these coupons that they are offering a lot. So make sure to download this HMS Core. After that, you want to download Honor of Kings through app gallery as well. And after you have done that, then you can uh, claim this, two, uh, this 80 token coupon. You can claim this one euro coupon. You get 20% cash back on all your purchases. No catch, no catch at all. Trust me on that. And if you want, you can join their Discord as well. And you can get an extra 10% cash back coupon for free. And I think this is a really nice offer that they're doing for Honor of Kings. For new viewers who are coming to watch my video today, I normally play Legend of Mushroom and App Gallery is pretty much doing the same offer over there on the on the Legend of Mushroom game. And you can save so much money, especially if you're a whale, or you're a big spender, you can save upwards of hundreds of dollars, even thousands of dollars, the more you spend pretty much. And you can, you can really just imagine like having 20% cash back on all your purchases is pretty insane. So I really highly encourage anyone who is thinking of just playing this game and they want to buy a skin or something, you should definitely take up this offer because why not? Who doesn't want free money? Anyways, let's now get back to the second game. All right, let's start the second game. So we're just gonna play another quick match, but as you can see, you can choose your lane pre-selection. And that's really nice because then it avoids all this fighting for roles. So I'm gonna try and play the farming lane, which is pretty much ADC. And as you saw before, uh, it says that I was in Master 4, right? But yeah, let's try to play uh, ADC, a carry role in the bottom lane and Let's see if we can do as well as last game. And the recommended hero to start with would be uh, this guy, Ho, Ho Yi. And it's really simple. It's kind of like Varus and League. And let's just watch what his skills do. His ult 2 1 BABA is great for chasing down fleeing enemies. His passive earns stacks of shooter, and at three stacks, he shoots three arrows for every basic attack. His skill one enhances his basic attack to release even more arrows. His skill two slows enemies within the target area. And when using his ultimate, he unleashes an arrow that flies across the entire map to stun the first hero it hits. 
Learn skill two at spawn and then level up the ultimate first or skill one if the ultimate is not available. Yeah, so that's what his skills do. His ultimate is pretty much like an Ash ultimate and then his passive is like Varys. So the more you attack, the faster attack speed you get. And then his first skill just enhances his basic attack and the second one just slows him. And then so the, the, a good combo for fighting enemies is you want to slow them first, but first you attack the minions. So you stack up your passive once you have that fast attack speed. Then you slow them with skill two. And then once they're slowed, you can use your skill one and try and whittle down their HP in that way. And then you can also initiate with your ultimate by stunning them and then doing that same combo afterwards. And okay, we're fighting this enemy and he's kind of standing still and giving us a free first blood. Okay, thank you for that, I guess. That was very easy. I'm not sure why he stood there. Maybe he's a bit more new to the game, to this whole genre of MOBAs, who knows. But okay, this guy as well has kind of overextended himself. So we have two players. He was quite low already in HP and then he just walked up too close to us. So for us, it was just another free kill. And now we're kind of under the tower, trying to do some damage to the tower, but also try to uh, whittle down the enemy's HP a little bit more. And Okay, let's see. I think we could try to go for another kill here. Oh, I've gotten suppressed. And that's one of their junglers, which is why he initiated that. Uh, so we pretty much got ganked. And then now our jungler is back and we're going to help. And I think we're going to snag and secure another kill. So already in under two minutes, we've got three kills uh, for the team. And we pretty much got this first item which is a chain lightning every few attacks so just like a static ship so you'll see many 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 things have a big similarity between league of legends and i think this is the same with all waivers but as you can see we're doing quite a lot of damage uh we're just kind of staying our distance against them okay we just killed dragon in a way so we just increase our damage that we deal but yeah we just want to keep our distance from them okay that's not good I got stunned there but it doesn't matter because they're way too low HP they shouldn't be there in the first place okay we're taking some tower hits but it's okay okay that was a bit risky I think I can still kill him though, and yep, there we go. That's an easy kill for us. Now I'm pretty low. Now would be a great time to go back and not get too greedy. And as you can see, yeah, we just killed this little phoenix thing. Uh, in every lane, there's like that additional minion or monster camp thing that you can kill just for some extra gold. So that really encourages at the start of a game like to kind of almost push your wave in to try and kill all your minions first. That way your minions start going towards the tower and then when you have that free space, that bit of breathing room, then you can kind of take down that extra monster camp. And I just died then. There was kind of a dumb mistake on my part for trying to think that I could take on a jungler fighter 1v1. I am still an AD carry, so I'm still squishy. I'm not completely too fed yet. I'm still trying to ramp up and get all my items. So that was a bit too cocky of me, but that is okay. Everyone always mis makes mistakes every game. And yeah, I'm just doing a voiceover. So it's nice to also like watch how I play because then it's a bit more objective in what I'm doing. I can see what mistakes I'm doing and I can also learn from my mistakes for the future. Okay, we both tried to 
get that heal, but it's okay. We have a support who heals us. Okay, and this enemy is an idiot. <laughs> he tried to 1v3 us when his health was already under half HP. So that's never gonna work in any game. Okay, I've just used my ultimate to stun him and I've got a nice kill here. I'm gonna try and get another one, but I got overly confident again. And I'm noticing that I tend to get cocky quite often. Uh, when I'm doing well, I tend to overextend myself and then overestimate my abilities in killing the opponents and that always leads to death. So I think that's something that I really should try to work on for the future and just not try to overextend too much and just to kind of know my abilities. And I had a nice ultimate there, just in helping my teammate, but I think it's still gonna die. Yeah, it's still gonna die. We're probably gonna see if we can kill one of them. I'm a little bit caught out here. I don't like my positioning too much, but it's okay because they ended up focusing uh, our allies and not us. So if they went for us first, I think we would have been screwed again. And I'm going to see if I can try to take out this Baron by myself. You can see the minimap, they're actually coming towards this Baron. I should stop because they're going to definitely reach it. I mean, I'm not even going to get it. Okay. Yep, they smited it. They got it. I died. I just helped them get a free Baron. That was the stupidest mistake to ever make. Why did I do that? Because I just got two kills right before that. And then I overestimated my damage and my abilities yet again. So, three mistakes, all because of the same reasons. Uh, just because I got a little bit cocky, and yeah, I, then I just start making dumb mistakes. But it is what it is. Hopefully, we play a little bit safer. Okay, completely missed my arrow, no problem. It's back up in 30 seconds. So as you can see, it's really fast. Uh, so you're not really that punished for spamming your ultimate. And in that way, it's really nice because it really rewards you if you do hit a nice ultimate. Um, then you can really capitalize off of that and try to take some more objectives. Okay, out of position again. I've been suppressed and I'm dead again. Okay, so this is not going so well. Uh, the thing we notice with Ho Yi, with this champion, uh, he's got good damage, he's got good kiting abilities, but if you get caught out like that, there's absolutely nothing you can do. The only thing you can do is flash away, but then if you don't have flash, then you're pretty much a sitting duck. So I should have recognized that, and I should let someone else in the team kind of initiate and check the, the, the brushes and all that stuff. So I really need to stay behind my teammates, uh, let them kind of take the initial damage, and then I just stay in the back and do what an AD carry does and just kind of really chip away at their, health, uh, at their HP, but from the back, all safe and secure. But yeah, my attack speed is looking very fast now. I've got quite a few items now, so I'm my damage is ramping up. Again, I, I feel like now I'm overextending. Okay, I've gone back. So this is good. I'm finally starting to learn from my mistakes mid-game. I should keep my distance. As you can see, they're focusing on my teammate. And now I think this is good. No one is targeting me. I'm able to shred the entire team. And we've definitely won this game, uh, won this fight at least. And yeah, we've just aced them. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, we've won the game because of that. So that's, that can often be the case. Like that's all it takes, just one good team fight. And then we win the game. And wow, I did like a third of the tower's HP just from that. That's pretty fast.
That was without minions as well. So, really fast. I'm doing a lot of damage. We can definitely get this. And we'll probably just take down the Nexus as well. And yeah, that's gonna be the game. So, I had quite a few mistakes here for my deaths. Um, but, I just had one good team fight with good positioning where the players, the enemies did not target me and that's all it took to win us that fight and win the game. So, definitely uh, positioning is probably one of the most important things uh, in games like this. And, yeah. My support did amazing, 2019, she got MVP. But that's gonna be it for my first Honor of Kings video. I'm gonna create more videos like this and I might do like a journey to Grand Master if you're interested or I might do some guides on specific heroes that I really like. But I really like this game. They have so many events they're giving out so many free skins and free heroes as well uh, right when you're starting to play and it feels really nice like they actually want you to play and you don't feel like a uh, pay to win kind of thing going on there. Uh, it really feels um, yeah, really beginner friendly. So definitely check it out if you're interested. If you like this sort of game like League of Legends uh, I think you will definitely like this as well. Personally, I like this a lot more than League. Um, obviously, they have a lot of champions as well. They have like around 80, I think. So you will have to learn what all of these champions do. And of course, that comes with time. Uh, even for me, I've only been playing for a week, so I still have many champions that I'm still not 100% certain on what they actually do or like what their names are called because many of them are Chinese names and yeah, it can get a bit confusing at times. But yeah, what am I saying? So far, I'm really liking this game and I do want to create some more uh, content for Honor of Kings in the future. And I will probably create videos for Legend of Mushroom and Honor of Kings. So for both at the same time. And I hope uh, you guys enjoy watching my videos. And hopefully I can kind of improve. You can come along with me on this journey. And uh, we can reach Grandmaster. Maybe in a month or something. Who knows? We'll see how we go. But that's enough of me ranting. Of me talking. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next one. And peace.